Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing the all new and amazing ChatGPT AI image generator and editor. And you are gonna realize that we have never ever seen anything like this before. It has just blown away all the competition to the point that it doesn't even feel like competition. We are going to be comparing it with Gemini and Grok, two of, two of its AI editing competitors, and you're going to realize that ChatGPT is far, far superior. This has just come into the picture three days back, so it's very, very new. And the example that we will be taking for this tutorial is one of the toughest things to do in the world of editing, which is to do a product placement of a product which has logo and small text on it, like the can that you can see in front of you, and then put this in the hands of a model, which was something we just could not do up till now, because anytime we would attempt such a thing, the product itself would change. It would get distorted, the text would change, the logo would change, and all these things would happen. But ChatGPT will make even this possible as you're gonna see. The links to all the tools that you're gonna see and the images that we will be using have been given in the description so you will be able to download. Now, first of all, we are on ChatGPT. I'll come back to this later. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how do its competitors fare when it comes to this. So here, I have opened up Google AI Studio through which we can access the Gemini AI editor, which I've shown in a couple of my videos in the past. And actually one of those videos was about product placement. And there we performed this shoe product placement and it maintained the shoe. It did a very good job. It was pretty impressive. But in a case like this, where you're looking at a shoe, it's still not very complex because it just has to maintain mainly the design and the logo. There's no text on the shoe. Text is usually the biggest concern. So what we are gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna follow the same workflow across Gemini, Grok, and then we'll go to ChatGPT to see which one performs the best. So it's a very simple workflow. First of all, on the Gemini AI editor, we are simply going to upload this image of that product, the energy can. All right, so I've just uploaded the image and the prompt that we are gonna use is, create a photorealistic image of an Indian female model holding the energy drink in this image in her hand. So it looks like an advertisement for the energy drink. She's smiling at the camera, make her pose like she's a professional model and her fitness attire should be a combination of blue and black colors. So we are simply gonna copy this and paste this here. And I've also given this prompt to you in the description so that you can use the same prompt in case you want that. And right now let's run this and let's see the result. All right, so here is our result. If I open this up, you can see that this doesn't look good at all. First of all, the pose just overall doesn't look good. Uh, she has got that AI look. The image doesn't look sharp enough. It's very, very pixelated. But the main thing, like I said, with these product placement shots and this is why this is the toughest thing to do in editing is if you look at the can, now this, we can't even make out the words, is just one of those AI texts which you can't make sense of, you can't make this out. The only thing it has done is kept the color consistent and probably the logo consistent, but that is just not good enough. Now, let's go to the next competitor, which is Grok, which is also an impressive AI editor, but you're gonna again see that in a scenario like this, it just fails. So again, I've uploaded the same image. I'm gonna use the same prompt and let's run this and see the result with Grok. All right, so these are the results with Grok. Definitely looks better than what we got with Gemini, but again, if I just open up these images, you can see it has got that AI cartoonish feel to it, just doesn't look real. Uh, the body proportions and all are off, but again, more importantly, just look at the can. That is not anything close to the original product. Probably the second one is slightly better. Uh, you can see here at least it has got the RGY of energy correct, maybe a bit of the drink, but again, apart from the logo, whatever was down here is completely, completely different. So you can see that these are just not able to handle complex requests like this, but now let's finally go over to ChatGPT. And just for now, don't follow along with me, just watch the initial part because I am gonna tell you the issues related with accessing this. But first of all, before I talk about that, let me just show you how the same thing works with ChatGPT. So let's use this plus sign here to first of all upload the can image and then we're gonna put the same prompt here also. All right, so we are all set and we are just gonna hit the button and this time let's wait for the result. All right, so our image is getting developed. 
This is just one of the downsides that this is a bit slow. It takes around 60 to 90 seconds, but trust me, when you see the full image, this is gonna be on another level. So let's just wait for this. All right, so our image is ready and just have a look at this. We have not seen anything like this. This looks like a real image of a real person holding that exact can with the same text, the same logo, even things like 500 ml here. Maybe, okay, change it to 300 ml in this case, but these small things are still fine, but just look at the overall result. This is fine. In fact, I'm gonna be showing you later on, if you are facing a problem like this, you can actually tell it in the next prompt to change it to 500 ml and it's gonna do that. So it's very, very good with changing and generating text also, which is really, really making it so popular since it was launched three days back. Also, not just that, let me just download this image and let me just show you because one of the issues that we have been facing with Gemini and Grok, apart from the fact that they couldn't even do anything like this, was that the image quality itself wasn't good. So here, just see, I've just downloaded this image straight. I've not upscaled it. This is directly from ChatGPT and just see what happens when I zoom in. This doesn't even need any sort of upscaling. This is so sharp. It maintains the res resolution, looks absolutely amazing. And just look at the can here, okay? It has maintained everything. Like I said, yeah, a bit of an issue here, but just look at this high caffeine, carbonated, B vitamins, exactly li like how it was. Just a difference of one number. I think that is absolutely fine. And remember, it's just its third day. This is gonna get better. But I want you to notice something else also. Just look at the lighting on her and you're noticing these uh, kind of specular highlights here. It has produced those similar highlights on the can itself, wherever th whereas this was not there on the original image of the can that we had uploaded. So this is like a proper composite and that's why it just looks really, really real. But right now, we're just gonna take a bit of a break. We are gonna go back to this particular interface because here's the thing, there's one catch, which is, and it's a very important catch, when OpenAI released this three days back, initially, this was available even to the free users of ChatGPT. However, they experienced immediately such a severe demand on their servers that they pulled the plug on that. And right now, this is only available to the paid users. You can see I'm a paid user. It says chat the, the plus sign here. That means I'm paying that $20 per month for the chat GPT plus subscription. And there it will allow you to then get this drop down menu where you can select the model, which is chat GPT 4.0. And then when you create an image, just in your normal area where you write in ChatGPT, it's gonna use the latest generator. If you have currently a free plan of ChatGPT, what's gonna happen is that if you do something like this, till here everything is gonna remain the same, but when you go to this part, let me show you the kind of image that you'll get. So if you are on the free plan, these images are basically gonna be generated by the older generator, the image generator which ChatGPT used to use, which is Dolly. And Dolly produces images like this, which have that AI cartoonish look. And you can even see that it says here, made with the old version of image generation, new images coming soon. Now this is good news because OpenAI have said that they do plan to make this available for free Users also, in fact, they had done that, like I mentioned before, it's just that they pulled the plug on that uh, on that because of the higher demand. So this is going to come to the free users also. That's the best part about it. It's just that right now, at this moment, this is only available to the people who are paying that $20 per month, which is also not bad to be frank. But right now, let's get back to the image that, that we just created. And you can see that this really, really looked nice. Also just notice the hands. That's one thing I forgot to mention. It really gets the fingers and hands absolutely spot on, which is again, so unheard of in the AI world. I mean, just look at the fingers that we were getting in Gemini and the overall image quality. You can see at least it got the number of uh, the, the fingers correct, but still it just doesn't look good. And just see the Grok fingers here. It's just looking totally different, very, very bad, but here, is just so real and so nice. Now, there are more things that you can do with this. For example, I can continue to edit this in any way that I want. For example, if I feel that this can is slightly big, okay, for her hand. So maybe I can just type in, make the can smaller. And let's just wait for the results here. All right, so our new image is also ready. And this time you can see that it has 
change the size of the can. So if you compare this, you can see the can was much bigger here and maintains everything, just changes the shape of the can. That is again amazing. Not 100% consistent when it comes to the model. So you can see here the pose was slightly different, the look was slightly different. Again, like I said, it's still early days, so these little things are bound to get better. There's another way by which you can edit things, which is once you have an image which has been generated, you can just click on it and it opens up on a separate window. And here you do get this little brush, which is like uh, a thing you can use to mask whatever you want to change. For example, if I wanted to change something in the face, something in the clothes, something like that. And then I can write the new prompt here. But to be frank, I did not really understand the purpose of this because the same thing can be done just by writing, you know, the prompt here. Because even if you use the brush thing that I told you and you write it uh, in the prompt section under that, it still doesn't maintain 100% consistency. It's not like it's only gonna affect the areas that you brush on. I've seen that it still changes the other things in the image, just like we saw the changes from this to this. So I did not really right now understand the purpose of that window and that brush, because you can do the same thing just by writing the uh, next line here, basically like let's say change the color of this top to pink, something like that, you can just do it from here. I've not really seen right now what is the difference between uh, both the approaches. However, what I do wanna show you right now is just some of the other experiments that I already did and we'll be able to learn some things from that and we'll also learn that yes, it's not 100% perfect also. So let's just see uh, some of these examples. So one of the things that I did before was when I got a result like this, the next thing I typed in was great. Now turn this into a full body portrait. So it didn't really turn it into like a proper full body portrait uh, till the time we could see the feet or the shoes. But you can see that even this much just by writing a prompt was good enough, but you can see the consistency is still not there. This is a different person. This is a different person, but the other things remain pretty much the same, like her dress and the overall pose. So it's okay. Another thing that I did was that this was one of the results I got and there were some misspellings here in these words. Overall, it was still fine, but I think one or two letters were uh, just jumbled up a bit. So what I did was I just wrote in, this is good, but the text on the can has changed a bit. Under the logo, the following should be the text. And I wrote the exact text there and it actually changed it to that, which was again, very, very impressive. Another thing that I did was that I just used exactly the same prompt, but just at the end, I added one line, which was the image should be in the horizontal aspect ratio. And you can see this time we got a slightly different look. And this was also really, really nice. Then I used the same prompt, but I wanted a full body portrait. So I just used that in the initial line here. And I was not too impressed with this particular image because first of all, it did slightly mess up the can for sure. So in this case, it didn't really maintain the consistency. And also, if you just look at the overall body, somehow the proportion between the body and the legs was just a bit off. I think this was the only result I got which I was not happy with. But again, like I said, you can probably just go ahead and even when you get a result like this, it's so good at editing these images, you can actually just talk to it and tell it what is the problem and then hopefully the next generation will be better. Then another thing that I tried was something different. So this time I changed the prompt and the prompt was create an image where an Indian female model is working out in the gym and the energy can in, the, in this image is kept next to her. It should look like an ad for the energy drink. And this was the result I got. Pretty impressive on the part of the, the female model and the gym and her working out because you, again, you can see this is something I've tried a lot in the past, which is like a fitness model holding a dumbbell. And I haven't seen a single AI image generator get this correct because it always messes up the hands. But here you can just see uh, this part where she's holding the dumbbell. It just looks absolutely perfect. The correct, the count is correct and the form is correct. So this is uh, extraordinary, but uh, in this case, it didn't really follow this part. Definitely looks like an ad for this energy drink, but I had specifically mentioned that it should be kept next to her. So it's just floating in the air like an overlay. So it looks more like a graphic rather than um, a real image. So then what I did was I just typed in, the can should be kept on some surface next to her just to be more specific. This time it slightly improved it, but the size of the can was too big. So again, not the best result, but it's okay, it's still early days. And at least it still looks like an ad. 
Finally, another thing that I tried was I put up two images. So there was this portrait of this man and I put up the energy or drink image also. I uploaded both of them together and the prompt was turn the man in the first image into a model and make him hold the energy drink in, uh, that is there in the second image. So it looks like an advertisement for the energy drink. And you can see it did a pretty good job. Maybe not 100% close to his face, but things like this, you can easily do a face swap using any of the free AI tools out there. And I think after that, this will just look perfect. But overall, just look at the jacket that he's wearing, the overall look, the hairstyle, and of course, the most important thing, the product placement itself, 100% correct. All the text, the logo, this time even the 500 ml is correct. Check out the fingers. This is absolutely astonishing. All right, so to conclude, I think we can safely say that this is the best AI image generator and editor that we have seen up till now. And it has definitely put two occupations under a massive threat, which are photography and graphic designing. Graphic designing simply because we haven't had an AI up till now which can handle text so well and produce consistent images. So let me know what you think and in case you want to keep up with all these different experiments with all these crazy upcoming AI image editing tools then make sure you subscribe and in case this video helped you out do not forget to give it a like and I will see you next time.